Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today we're going to be starting the cats and I'm going to be starting right up here in the top with that blue. And it is number 17. It's 799 blue. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this. So we're just going to start it. I got my little koi today. I know. Cats and fish. Yep. Fish and cats. So how's everybody doing? Are you having a good week? Yeah, my whole schedule is screwed up again this week. But that's fine. We'll just... Stitch and stitch. That means I have more time in the morning. See? It's a good thing. Last night I thought was never going to end. It was a little busy, but not terribly busy. Um, I'm going to bring it down. There you go. And then we'll pull you this way just a little bit, because you know how it goes. Yeah. But it was, yeah, something else. And, of course, I had the trainee. So, yay. That was fun. But, you know, I'm basically observing and making sure that he knows what little chores he's supposed to do and that kind of thing. Oh, goodness. But, yeah. And then it started to drag from, like, seven o'clock on yeah I could not believe it so we'll see how tonight goes I don't have any cleaning projects that we can work on while it's quiet short of washing the walls because we did all the the shelving last Wednesday maybe so it's not due for a little bit just a bit. So, oops. Sure is a pretty blue. It's kind of a Wedgwood blue. And it's kind of chilly this morning. It's supposed to get to 60 degrees, so, you know, we'll see. It's like whatever at this point. Because some days it does what it says and others not so much. It's supposed to rain towards the end of the week, so... Don't know if that'll even still be there by the time we get to the end of this week. Oh my goodness. This is a little confetti, but I thought we'd just start up here since there was a whole bunch of this symbol. And just kind of work our way around. I was going to start with the flowers that run along the bottom, but eh, I'll just start up there and then I can do the butterfly, right? Oh my goodness. And I definitely did not want to start with the 310 black. That wasn't happening. So I thought about going around things, yeah, with the 310 black, but I talked myself out of it real quick. Real quick. Okay, I really am going to have to get rid of this thread here. Because it's way too far to go to the next little batch. It's right there. I don't go, t I don't travel too far. And there's a big area down here. Maybe we'll, we'll go there. We'll go there and then we won't have to do this too often. There we go. We'll just start right in. So, any big plans for this weekend? Anybody? Anybody, anybody? Don't know what we'll be doing or where we'll be going. My friend should be here either Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure. I can't remember now. I've just had too much kind of going on, so they'll be here one of those days. But, uh, 
There probably won't be a uh, European town Saturday this weekend. Goodness gracious. I didn't sleep worth a darn last night. I don't know what the heck was the problem. I probably took too much ibuprofen for my back. And that just kind of kept me up. Usually it puts me to sleep if I only take two. But I'd been taking it all evening. There was a point in the evening where I couldn't even hardly walk. And then I took one extra and... I was fine the rest of the night. Well, at least till I got home. I was ready to sit down, believe me. So I don't know what's going on. I did have a full bottle of cranberry juice and Sprite. I mixed them together. It was actually, I think it was apple raspberry cranberry juice. But I always mix cranberry juice with Sprite or 7-Up or whatever's available. So, we'll see. Other than that, everything else is fine. I think it's more to muscle strain. And I think while we were out there on our big adventure, th there was nothing but sand. And it was really kind of hard to, uh, what am I doing, uh, walk on. And my leg might have twisted you know, in the sand or something. Of course, I was wearing shoes because it was kind of, it was breezy, but it wasn't freezing cold. I mean, it was fine. So, yeah. Okay, now we got a full strand here. So, I think that's, you know, how that all happened to be. It's the only thing I got because I really haven't done anything strand with. Worked a little bit on that hummingbird that I started, was it yesterday? Like I said, days are running together again. So, and it's coming along. You know, I've only put a few threads in, uh, in it. But, like I said, it goes so much slower than 11 count. But I just keep packing away. Put one in, do something else, put one in, do something else. This morning I got up and mopped the rest of the house. Yay! Still got to get to the trash, so I might be able to do that before I go to work. We'll see. Hopefully it's not windy. It wasn't real windy yesterday. It just had a little slight breeze. So that was good. I'm really over that wind. It seems to do nothing but bring cold weather in. But we're good. Today it's kind of partly sunny, if you will. It's kind of cloudy out there, but it's not supposed to do anything. It'll probably snow six feet. No, it won't. Not this time of year. And if it does, it'll be melted off by dinner time. So what is everybody working on? Let me know. Are you making progress of any kind? Haven't watched too much YouTube, I ended up watching, you know, what I have already seen on, uh, oops, I thought that was a different symbol, um, on uh, Netflix. I started to watch Bridgerton there on Saturday. I haven't gotten back to it. I just, within the past month, watched it, so it's like, eh, okay. It's something I can put on and I know what's going on and 
know who all the players are, you know. I'm adding to my repertoire of things that I can put in and I don't have to pay too much attention to. It's just kind of making noise in the background. Sorry, I thought you were out of frame and I kept moving you even further out of frame. So, yeah. It is what it is. But that way I can stitch and not have to read subtitles or watch the the show so intently that I have to figure out the plot. Yeah. It's mindless watching. I have mindless stitching and mindless watching. But some days I really got to pay attention to this stitching. This isn't one of those days. But what, especially when I'm doing counted. Or that 18 count. Oh my goodness. It is just way, way too small. I'm going to have to dig in my studio. Haha. <laughs> what a joke. It's full of crap. Um, what are we doing here? Oh. And uh, get my magnifying light out. I have... Uh, it's like a floor lamp, if you will. It, um, it's probably mm, uh, four feet. No, it's got to be about five feet tall. And it has a magnifier. And it also has like a little spot on the uh, magnifying glass where it's like four times bigger. And, uh, then it has like a, and it's kind of an oval shape, so it has like a ring light that shines down on the fabric. So, yeah. I just have to push myself to learn how to use the dang thing. Or get used to using it. You know what I mean? It's kind of awkward. So, I haven't used it much. It just sits in that studio. Ha, 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 ha. What a joke. I own too much crap to have a studio. What I need is cabinets, but after you put cabinets in that room, it's one... Okay, if you've ever had a trailer, you know there's the baby room. The one that's probably eight feet by six feet. Yeah, that's that room. And there's too much crap in the front bedroom to put in there. Yeah. My dream is to have a, a spot for everything, but you know how that goes. Some days that works, and some days not so much. I just own too much crap. So. We're just stitching around the bend here to get rid of this thread here. I think I can pull up maybe one more. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, maybe two. I use my thread up, you know, till it's like the last drop. Because I never know. And you never know with a kid if you're going to have enough thread. Or That's why I don't travel so much. I try to stitch in one place even if I gotta stop and start so it happens but to date I there was only one kit and it was a joy Sunday and it's that how was it called it's the blue and white one and it's a I think it's called blue pavilion yeah it's gorgeous. It has all this stupid damn back stitching in it. That's why I never finished it. It just <sighs> well and back and let me explain that. Like the border that goes around the whole picture is nothing but we'll call it lattice work, if you will. So it's all done in back stitching. Yeah, it was so not my jam. Oh my god, but that's part of the design. So, I mean, it's not, 
like you stitch the whole thing and then you put the back stitching it. Mm. Mm -mm. We were done. But that's the only one where I ran out of thread, so I'd have to get another couple skeins to finish that. Because I think it actually called for one thread and I used two, so I mean it really was my own fault. I mean as far as that goes. See where was that? And I'm working on that um, that hummingbird, and from and it's from Joy Sunday, and it's kind of off. Like the the printing is off, just just a smidgen, so that it almost makes you second guess as you're stitching. Now I don't know that they're all like that, but yeah, that one. But, I mean, it's not something I can't deal with. It's not that far off. It's just that I have to think about it when I'm stitching so that it'll work out. I, I, I hate when that happens. I really do. But other than that, I'm, I'm dealing with it, you know, and it's a partial. If it was full coverage, I probably wouldn't think anything about it. I'd just start high or start low, and everything would work out. But, yeah, it, it's a little, little bit of a, a glitch, if you will. So, have to think about that when I'm stitching. But, it'll be fine. I can just work around it, you know. But I have had some kits that were stamped kits. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to hit the camera. Stamped kits that were so off. I got and one actually from Joy Sunday. And it was off. Like it was in the middle of the hole. It, it was. I can't even hardly begin to explain. I looked at it. I tried to stitch on it. And I don't remember if it was an 11 or 14 count. But it just wouldn't match up at all. Not at all. So I threw the canvas out. And... Save the threads. Because at that point, the threads were worth more to me than the canvas was. And that's the first Joy Sunday I've ever not, not dealt with. I just, it was too much. It couldn't even hardly read the, uh, the symbols and tell what they were. It, yeah. And it was beautiful. It was kind of a long and skinny one. I think it was called The Gathering. And it's got like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, a table that has like flower pots on it. And then it has like, through the whole thing, it's got like six or eight different kinds of birds that are sitting, you know, on the pots or on the flowers or whatever, you know, is in the flower pot. And it's like a Maybe it's garden gathering. You know, it's got to, all the elements are like gardening tools and the the pots you put them in or flowers and stuff. It's weird. But it's long and skinny. So it might have been a 14 count, but it was just too much to deal with. So that's first Joy Sunday I ever threw away. Yep. Since then, I've had very good luck, you know. Not a, not too many issues. Oh, there was that one that, you know, I mean, I've received it, oh, hundreds of, of kits. So, you know, I've got experience in getting kits. But there was that one Joy Sunday where the symbol didn't match. And I can't remember what it was. I, I can't remember. But it was a 14 count. And one of the symbols wasn't the same as the symbol. And it was something small. As what was actually on the canvas. It didn't even match the booklet. I mean, it was bizarre. So, like I said, I haven't had too many problems with Joy Sunday. Out of probably 
500 kits that I've gotten from them. So. So their track record's pretty good. As far as I'm concerned. We just know we'll never work with silk thread ever again. Or the silk thread that they say that the kits are made with. Yeah, I don't ever want to see that crap again. Yeah, that was horrible. I'd sooner go out, match colors, and buy real silk thread than that rayon stuff that they have. Uh, it's horrible. Okay, now we're just going to go over here for a bit just to run this thread out. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I just got up this morning and tucked myself into scrubbing the floor. Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? Well, I guess I was thinking I could lay down before I had to go to work, you know? And since I have my helper again, that I'm training, they get to scrub the floor tonight. So, we're good. And since he's 40 years younger than I am, I'm sure he can handle the floor. And that's not an exaggeration or a lie. I think he's about 20. He'll be 21 this month or next month. So. Yay. Works for me. Oh, goodness. All right, guys. Well, I think that that is going to be about it today. Just got a little bit done here and a little bit up there. Back out. Hang on. There we go. So you can see what I'm talking about. So, not very much. That's three strands into that. So, it's going to take a lot of that. Well, over in this corner. But, yeah, I'd really like to start that black and outline the cat and... Yeah, it's a hot moment. Because all the black, it seems like, is the cats. Or in the cats. You got all those other beautiful colors. So. It'll be interesting. I do like this picture. It's so pretty. Just love all the colors. Alright guys, well thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.